Thank you for joining me. This is Plan My Mavic. Uh, and this video is about the Mavic Pro. Um, well, not about the Mavic Pro. A little while back I did a video on how to get more flight time from the Mavic Pro, uh, which was a plastic saddle from Max UAV. Two 300 milliamp batteries, a little connector, and then you had to put it all together and set it to non-DGI mode. And the results weren't great. Um, four to five minutes extra flight time on 3200 batteries. Uh, the whole lot at that point was about £180 uh, for the whole setup. Um, batteries were obviously £34 each, and if you want to go to bigger batteries, obviously the price goes up to sort of £40, £45. And it just it, it didn't look, but it didn't, it's not that it didn't look, it, it, it didn't do what I expected it to. I was, I was hoping to get sort of, you know, 20 minutes extra flight time. Not happening. Anyway, luckily for me, it's a chap called Vincent on Facebook, and he builds batteries. And when I say he builds batteries, I mean he builds batteries this is a double mavic battery uh and he builds them for the mavic air the spark the, you know the the uh the new one the mavic air 2 uh, pretty much every dji battery uh, he has now produced one of these what i call a mega battery as you can see it has the standard uh us uh, the standard charger there and it also has a balance lead and an xc60 connector so you can actually um overcharge them if you want to no, no, you're wondering, what's the weight? Okay, so I'm going to bring the scales in. I'm going to set them to zero. I'm going to put on a standard Mavic battery, which is 237 grams. And I'm going to put on the big one, which is 629. So, just a little bit more. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put that on and we'll tar it at zero. And then we'll put the big one on. And the difference in weight is 392 grams. Yeah, well, it's a bigger battery. I mean, it's going to weigh more, obviously. But it's going to give you longer flight time. Now, I'm out in the garden today, so I'm going to be doing a flight test, just a hover test, because I can't get out to fly at the moment in time, using the Mavic Pro, of course. Um, I know you're asking, how does it stay in? Because it obviously hasn't got the clips that uh, a Mavic Pro has. Um, so the standard Mavic Pro battery has, I should say. It's quite simple. You take your battery and you plug it in. Like so. Make sure you get the pins right and you don't mash up on the wrong ones. And then I use... One of these straps this is the one you can get for holding your props in place if you're in a case all you need to do is slide it under the quad like this and then over the top and just pull it tight once it's in just make sure it's not fouling your uh, connectors your sensors underneath you can always turn them off if you want to i don't really fly with the sensors on much because i'm always flying well above ground level anyway and that's it you're good to go um in the app it does show you the voltage uh, for the battery if you're using the android version of the app you also have a, a battery capacity level in the app as well so i'm going to get set up and we'll go and do the garden test okay so let's go fly uh, wait for it to warm up uh, for those who are interested tap on the battery level it does give me voltage of the battery uh, a total capacity of 10,988 and a remaining capacity of 10,988 so it is at 100% Try to lock some satellites okay let's get up in the air and we'll start recording uh, I see format the SD card first because I always run out of space after testing uh, not, not that, it's down here format ok, formatting completed ok let's start recording Off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so it's 26 minutes in, uh, which is about the standard flight time for a magnetic battery before it starts to scream at you to start thinking about landing. We are still got 42% um, of battery life remaining. Before I reveal the final hover time, just a couple of things I'd like to point out. If, like me, you don't want the warning sounds going off on the app when it reaches low battery and the critical low battery, you need to make some changes to the parameters. You can do this for free using the Drone Hacks program. Drone Hacks is available from dronehacks.com. I'll put a link down below to it. Uh, just connect your quad up, go to the hack parameters section. Once it's found all the parameters, click on the button marked advanced parameters. And then in the search parameter, just type bat and find the one marked level 30 
Write that all the way down to zero. Click on the save parameter. Close that out and click write parameters to drone. And you'll now see on the app, the critical battery warning and low battery warning are now all at zero. Next thing you want to do, if you're like me, of course, and you don't have to do this, is to disable the automatic landing at 10%. To do that, click on advanced parameters. And in the search box, type in smart underscore bat underscore land. And you'll find it there. It's set to zero because I've already changed mine over, but you just need to change it from one to zero. And again, click on save parameter and then click on write parameters to drone. Once that's done, you're then good to go without any kind of warning claxings or being forced to auto land. Uh, my advice though is never fly below 3.55 volts on the lowest cell. Of course, the question is how long does it take to charge this mega battery? It takes a lot longer than it takes uh, to charge a normal battery. I hooked this up to the standard DJI Mavic charger, and as you can see, it's really past the time it would take. That's up to two hours now of charging time. Boy, this took me a long, long time. I always wondered how long it was going to take. In the end, it took a total of three hours and 21 minutes and 23 seconds. So, time to reveal the total flight time or the total hover time. Now, this was my second flight. Uh, on the first flight, I ended up with a, a bad cell and I ended up at uh, 1.89 volt. Uh, Vincent told me to do a balance charge, which I did. Did another test flight and the total flying time is 43 minutes 12. So, there you go. 43 minutes 12 seconds hover time. I did that twice uh, because the first time, as I said, I had a, a bad cell. Uh, in the battery and that was because of me okay i charged this up and left it for about two weeks fully charged because the weather was crap and because i thought it well it did auto discharge but because these are bigger batteries the level that dji discharges to isn't enough vincent recommends at least 50 percent charge if you're going to leave it uh, stood for any long period of time uh, you can use the uh, the plugs on the side plug into a charger and discharge it or you can just plug into the quad leave it powered on and let it run down to 50 percent Go on his, his Facebook page here, drop a message, tell him what you're after, and he will give you the price. Um, and you can trust him. There are absolutely loads of people on the DJI modding group who were brought from Vincent and who have been more than satisfied with the batteries that he produces. Um, my original battery, I had a problem with the BMS board, got in touch, and within about a week and a half, Vincent has sent me a new board. At his cost, bear in mind, shipping from where he is, it's incredibly expensive, but... He said, I'm at fault, hands up, it's obviously a faulty board, I'll send you a new one. Swapping it over, he sent the plastic wrap, he sent the board, a couple of instructions, and I did it myself in about half an hour. Thank you very much for watching, I'd take care, and as always, fly safely.